hands in the wrong direction and the bracket goes flinging off the wrong way. Uh, it just feels a bit more fragile. In terms of folding it down, just make sure you look out for that feature on it, how to lubricate the bearings. It's really quite simple to do. Cleaning the baggies, because that's quite important to us. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a review of our out and about Nipper 360 buggy. We've actually got this single version of it and we've also got the double version of it because we loved it so much. Um, so I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of what I think, show you some of the key features that we like um, and explain why we've ended up with two of them. So I hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, I'd be really grateful if you could subscribe and do let me know in the comments below what you think of this buggy and if there's any other sort of off-road all-terrain alternatives that you think are good options as well, then do let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. So I just thought I'd explain to start with how we ended up with two of these out and out buggies. So um, when I was first pregnant with Quinn, my eldest, I kind of had this buggy in mind. A couple of friends of mine had the Land Rover three-wheeler all-terrain buggy um, for their children who are quite a bit older now. But I always just had that in mind and that's the sort of thing I wanted. But we went to John Lewis to go buggy shopping and I was a bit swayed off of that. I think I sort of got a bit swept along in sort of the fashion buggies and I wanted something that would look good if I was going for a, for a coffee or something on the high street um, with a friend. Um, but it's not really me. My day-to-day -day life is walking the dogs, going to the park. Um, at the time I had a horse, so I was going to the stables with the buggy. And I ended up going for an upper baby, which I loved. It was really nice as well, but it just didn't suit my lifestyle. Um, it was perfect for, like I say, going to coffee shops or going to town, or going shopping. But I don't do that very much. Um, the wheels on the upper baby are a proper sort of what I'd call a buggy wheel, so quite hard. So there's not a lot of suspension in there to give the baby a smooth ride. So I found when I was going sort of on my dog walks and off road or bridle paths and things, it was a really bumpy ride for the children. But after a couple of months, I ended up sourcing this out and about um, just second hand. I think I paid about £80 for it and it had been very well used when we bought it. Um, and we've now used it for about four years and it's still got so much life in it. So it's, been, it's had two children in it. It's been used pretty much daily for our dog walks and it's done so, so well. So then when we had Rosie, who's now two and a half, we bought the double version of it. And again, that was just fantastic because we could put Rosie on one side of it in a carry cot and Quinn could sit on the other side of it and I could still go off for long dog walks, not having to worry. They could both be strapped in. They both had a nice smooth ride and it was really comfortable. And I also bought the double buggy second hand as well. I think I paid similar. I think I paid about 80 pounds for that. Um, again, it was well used when I bought it. We've now used it for two and a half years and it still looks in pretty good condition, I think. You'll see when I do the up close shots, but I think they've both lasted very well. So yeah, just wanted to give a bit of background how we ended up with these two and I'll show you a bit more detail now. So one of my favorite features about the buggy is the tires. It's got these hard wearing air filled tires and um, that are, they're just like bike tires. They have an inner tube inside and, and we bought the ones that have got a special sealant in. So if you do get a puncture in the tire, um, gel automatically fills the hole and seals it. So you wouldn't be stuck out somewhere on a, miles away with children in the buggy trying to push it with a flat tire. It will be enough to get you home. We have occasionally had to then take the tires off and repair the inner tube but the gel does work really well as a temporary fix um, and sometimes it's good enough, it just fixes the puncture, but you do occasionally have to change, um, uh, fix a puncture as well. And so that's probably a downside to the tires, but they do offer quite a bit of suspension and um, which makes the ride generally a bit smoother for the children. Um, also the front tire on both the single and the double version and um, is sort of 360 spinning. So it goes all the way around, which makes it so easy to push. You can literally push the buggy one-handed, even with two children in, um, in the double version. And it's so easy. The wheel does also lock into place and it's quite a simple little button here. You just lock it into place, which works really well if you're using the buggy for running, which I have done as well. And um, it is designed for running. Um, but obviously you need, it's, it's better on sort of a straight flat surface. So we've got quite a nice old disused railway near us, railway line that I can run along. Um, so I've done that, but I would recommend locking the wheel in place if you're gonna run with the buggy, because otherwise you could be running along, it hits a stone and the wheel sort of uh, spins around and then lands in the wrong direction and the buggy goes flinging off the wrong way, um, which has happened a few times and it's a little bit um, tricky to control. So yeah, lock it if you're running, otherwise it's quite handy to have the free wheeling there. And the other thing that gives the children a really smooth ride in the buggy is it has got the suspension at the back 
um, which is quite hard. It, it does help give a bit of a smoother ride, but if you've got a young child in there, they haven't really got the weight to sort of push against it. When you've got an older child in there or two children in the double buggy, then it actually performs quite well. But if you've just got a younger child, there is still, you do still feel the bumps, but it's better than no suspension. The next point I just wanted to mention is the braking system. And we've actually got two different systems on the single buggy and on the double buggy. Um, so it both works with a bar along at the back like this. Um, but I actually prefer the one on the single version, which I think is the older style of nipper. So you probably wouldn't get it if you're buying a brand new one. But if you buy a second hand one, you would get this system. And it's just one straight bar all the way along that you can kick with your foot to put the brake down and it clips into place. This is the braking system on the double buggy. It's slightly different to the single buggy, and I don't think this is as effective. Um, ours is actually broken, doesn't push anymore. Um, whereas I just think the one on the single buggy is a lot simpler, um, and it has just lasted, and I don't think it's gonna break. Unfortunately, this is the braking system on the new, one, new versions of this. So if you bought a new um, Nippa 360, this is the braking system you would get, and I don't think it's quite as reliable as the single version. Um, but this is a very old buggy that's had a lot of use, so I think that's probably why it's broken now. I also just wanted to mention handles on the buggies. So the single buggy handle we've got is not adjustable, um, but it's a really nice comfortable handle, it's a nice height, and it also comes with this strap attached, which is um, for running. So if you're running, you can put this, um, I've got it tied up here, but you put it around your wrist and also hold onto the buggy so that if you slip, you've still got um, control of the buggy and it's not going to run off without you. On the double buggy, it does have a height adjustable handle, which is really simple to use. You push these buttons in on both sides and it goes down lower and higher. Um, we found that we, we kind of push at the same level, so we haven't actually used it much between us when we're pushing the buggy along, but it is really helpful when you're packing the buggy away because it folds all the way down like that and it does make it quite neater. It just takes that little bit of extra room off, so it's just a bit neater and easier to fit into a car. I also just wanted to mention storage. Um, there is so much storage space on these buggies. So it, both single and double have got this nice um, storage sort of uh, bag underneath with a drawstring on, so you can keep everything secure in there, and there's so much space in there. We get so much in there. And then on either side of both buggies, um, We've actually got a bit of a rip in one of ours, might be that one. There's these zip pockets on both sides, which are quite handy because when you're pushing the buggy along, it's so nice, easy access to be able to get whatever's in there. As you could put your phone and things in there and it's nice and easy um, to be able to get to. Seats on both the buggies are nice and deep, um, plenty of room, and they've all got these three-point harnesses on them as well. Um, and they have a nice padding that comes with them that is very easy to remove, so you can just wash the padding section if it does get dirty. Um, we also got foot muffs with ours as well, um, which again are really easy to take off and wash. Um, and all of the seats lie flat, and they're really easy to adjust as well. A simple mechanism that is not likely to break either, it's just a simple clip like that that you can undo and then the buggy goes flat um, or you can have it done up and you can adjust the height so um, you could have them sitting quite upright or slightly inclined. We also had with the double buggy we bought the carry cot so although the seat lies flat um, and I have heard people say they use it from newborn just with the seat lying flat. We actually bought a carry cot that slots inside um, the double buggy and it, it comes with some um, attachments to fix it on. Um, I'll show you some pictures of it. We don't have the carry cot anymore so I can't actually show you that but I'll put some pictures here for you to see. Um, and it did work really, really well with the carry cot on one side and a seat on the other side. Um, although you could have two carry cots as well which I think the previous owner did because as I mentioned they had twins. One point to look out for on the double buggy is that the buggies have these canopies um, which are really easy to adjust and push backwards and forwards um, but the double buggy on the older models it just has one canopy that covers both seats and when I was buying it second hand I specifically looked out for a slightly newer model that had separate canopies on each seat and I know it sounds silly but because I had um, a bit of an age difference between the children I thought um, what Rosie might want a bit more coverage because she's she's only two now, but she was only a baby when we first got it. So she might want a bit more coverage with the canopy over, whereas Quinn might not want it up so he can see more. Um, and I just thought it was quite good to have the option to have the canopy over one child and not over the other. Also, if you were using it with a carry cot on one side like we were, 
You don't then want the canopy over the cot, um, but you might want it over your toddler. Um, so yeah, if you're looking out, if you're looking out for them, just make sure you look out for that feature on it and try to get the one with two canopies rather than one. Also, I just wanted to mention about uh, cleaning the buggies because that's quite important to us because as I say, we go on a lot of muddy walks. So we've had to clean our buggies quite a lot. Um, it's sort of a canvasy material, so it's really easy just to wipe down to clean. But I think twice on each buggy, we've taken the whole thing apart and actually washed it properly. And it's very simple to do. You do need a screwdriver to undo um, where the canvas is held onto the frame. Um, but it's quite simple. It's probably about 10 screws in total to undo and everything comes off, every bit of canvas, even from the canopy, you can unscrew and take all of that off. I have read online, a lot of people are advising not to put it in the washing machine. Um, so please don't shout at me if you put it in the washing machine and it ruins it. But I would say we've washed ours, like I say, three or four times, and each time we've put it in the washing machine, but on a hand wash cycle, and they've come out fine. Um, so don't hold me to that, but it's worked for us. And the frame is aluminium, so you don't need to worry about the frame rusting, so you can give that a good wipe down. Um, but I would just say, just beware of the bearings. Um, so we've, a few times since owning them, we have had to lubricate the bearings. It's really quite simple to do, just with a bit of WD-40. But yeah, I would just say, just be aware of them, um, because they're not, I don't think they're sealed bearings. So I probably wouldn't recommend just hosing the buggy down, um, because this, as I said, this is quite an old buggy now, but it does have a bit of rust around here. Um, and the back wheels particularly have got a little bit sticky at times, which is when we've had to lubricate them. So just be aware of that. In terms of folding it down, it's really, really simple. It's a nice lightweight buggy. As I said, it's got an aluminium frame, which makes it really light. All you do on both the single and the double is there's a clip on each side that you pull out like this. On this single one, there is also a hook here that you just have to pull as well. And then you also need to make sure the seat is upright and the canopy is back. So canopy back, seat upright, and then it just folds down. And neatly like this, you can turn the wheel so it is really folds down in quite a, into quite a small package. And as I said, with the double buggy, just make sure that the handle is down as well, because that just makes it even neater um, and simpler to fit into a car. Um, if you are struggling to fit it into your car, the wheels also come off very, very easily. All you need to do is underneath, there's a red lever that you just pull and then pull the wheel off and same on both sides. So it's really simple um, to take it apart and fit it into a car. And it's also very simple to get it back up again. When you get out, you just the hands up, put the clips back down in place, and off you go. Another thing I wanted to mention is the rain covers, because I think these are a really good, simple design. I don't think you get them automatically when you buy the buggy. I think it's an added extra you can buy, or we bought it as an added extra. But I just found they're so simple to get on them, um, and really effective. They really do keep the rain off the buggy and the children. Um, you literally just pop it straight over the top, over the canopy. Okay. So you just pull it down over the nose of the baggie, would you call it? And then there's a popper system that does up underneath there. So it keeps the children and their feet and all completely dry. Um, I also use this a bit in the winter just to keep them warm, just for a bit of extra warmth when we were going along. Um, and then at the back, it just goes through the handle like this and really simply velcros onto itself there. So it also keeps the back nice and dry so you're not getting the canvas wet. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up and please do let me know in the comments box below what you thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, I'd be really grateful if you could subscribe. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.